The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. So two things coming your way here in the next 10 minutes at 820. Uh, first off, Pierce the Veil, Ticket Blitz Thursday. We launch it. Goes every hour the rest of the day through Lauren's show, through Brian Phillips. You just stay here all day anyway. We'll be at Lollapalooza. You can have your, you know, your AirPods in while you're down there in between bands trying to win Pierce the Veil tickets to two sold-out Q101 shows at the Aragon. It is going to be ridiculous, as it was at the Cubby Bear for our pop-up with them just a few months back. So that's coming up at 820. Also, speaking of concerts, something happened at Picnic with one of Kenzie's friends just a couple days ago. And this is a question for you in your eyes as somebody that might be in a relationship or someone that was in a relationship and something like this happened. Is it cheating if or 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 not only cheating, is it inappropriate? Well, how would you react if someone you were going out with texted someone else and said they were cute? Cute. This happened to Kenzie's friend at Picnic. Okay, and there's just some details surrounding that message that that package it differently. Yeah, I'm giving out. I'm giving you the okay. the TMZ headline. I'm I giving you that. So it's yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving you the TMZ headline. But we're actually going to bring her on. Yeah, because I want her to tell the whole story because she was updating me at picnic because my friend came to picnic, and she was updating me, and I was kind of taken back because I also know the guy. Okay, yep. but and I'm the guy, with him, but I know him, and the guy has a girlfriend. Yes, and she was telling me these things, and I'm like, I'm sorry, he said what? I'm sorry, he did what? I'm sorry, and I was just shocked. I'm trying to work at a picnic, and like, I want her to give all these details because I would consider it cheating, but I feel like you were like, eh. Well, I had a take on it that I will give after she tells us all the details, but we want your take on it. Maybe you've been through a similar situation because she's a really, really nice girl and deserves a good guy. I know, she's and, the best. And this person... Uh, well, we'll get into it. We'll let her explain everything, and we, but she needs your help besides the advice she asked me and Case in the car. I don't know how much help Case was on that one. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's all coming up here at 820 with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Some ease, chilling music there for you with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Kind of sounds like, uh, like WVAZ almost a little bit there. Like, hey. How vibes. I don't know what that means. I don't vibes. Know what, what's, <laughs> what is W? What do you call it? That's a station that plays all those old like Motown songs and stuff oh. like that. Yeah. I don't listen to other stations, Brian. Oh. Poser. You, like, <laughs> you don't listen to our music. I'm aware there's other radio stations that Fake. they're just not. You know. Fraud. Some Motown. <laughs> that, one, that was all for you people out there stuck on uh, the Jane Adams right at 59. It's backed up forever. An hour back up. Uh, three right lanes are blocked, a major accident out there. So if you're heading inbound, uh, we feel for you. But maybe you can participate in this conversation we're going to have with Kenzie's friend Kate. Something happened over at Picnic with her, and I gave uh, Kenzie and Kate a ride out of there. She brought this up to me as a guy, you know, what my take is on it. But I want her to explain the whole situation that happened, and then we can all judge together uh, this person. <laughs> let's, ju- let's all judge this person. <laughs> and I just want to say Kate is a wonderful person that deserves a great guy. She's the absolute best. She's one of the best friends I've ever had. Most helpful, most caring. She's just, she's a really good person. And here she is on the show. Welcome in, Kate. Hi, Brian. Hi, Kenzie. Hi. Uh, and I, I want to make that set up because sometimes people bring somebody on here. They might know, well, she's crazy. You know what I mean? They might say that about the person not knowing you. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm doing an honest setup. You are automatically saying people will assume my friends are crazy? Um, well, I know you, so. Okay. Well, <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> Don't laugh, Kate. <laughs> She's becoming my I best mean, friend. I mean, we now. all know you, Kenzie. Thank hey, you. Thank hey. you for backing me up on I that. I love <laughs> All right, so what happened at Picnic, and what can we have our crew members judge situation on? You explain it start to finish, so it's from your words and no other no other uh, sidebars there. Okay, so we have a group of friends. We were all at Picnic. We all we all arrived. We were all partying and dancing. I've hung out with this guy a few times before. We <laughs> follow each other on Instagram. Never assumed anything other than group friendship. Halfway through the night, he went out of his way to pull me aside and say, oh my God, I took the cutest photo of you ever. What is your number? 
I need to text it to you right now. Wow. So, yes. So, the light bulb went off and I was like, oh, maybe he's more than just a group friend. We exchanged numbers, sends me the picture, literally says, look how cute you are. Mm. And the night went on, a few more drinks were had. I was full planning on saying to him, hey, let's go grab dinner one day next week. As the night was wrapping up, we all said our goodbyes. Another friend of ours was very excited to say, let's all hang out again next week as a big group. Someone started a group text so that we all have each other's numbers. And that guy also said, I would love to bring my wife. I think she would absolutely adore you. Whoa! I said, wait, no, no, a different guy. Wait, hold on. Oh, this is a different guy. Oh, I'm yeah, so sorry. He's oh, not married. Oh, my bad, my bad. Okay, I'm following along. Yes, I'm sorry. The ma- A married man who I was aware was married because he was wearing a ring okay. said, my wife would adore you. Let's invite her. And I said, please, let's do. And then dude man oh. very nicely goes, oh, yeah, I'll bring my girlfriend. She would like you too. Okay, now I can go. Oh! Oh! oh. And can I add something, Kate? Can I add one thing? Please. Yeah. After exchanging numbers, after telling, like, you look so cute and taking Taking pictures of her that she didn't ask for. She didn't say, please take pictures of me. He was just taking pictures of her, like, unbeknownst to her. And then right. was like, look how cute you are. Right. He then like asked. Handed photos. Yes. Unasked for. So I'd like to also clarify that. Not like, oh, I got a good one of you. Here you go. Because you asked. He also asked what she was doing for Lollapalooza. Just her, not the group. Isn't that right, Kate? Yes asked me and was like, let's get together and watch a few shows together. At Lala. So he has intentions of hanging out with me more one-on-one. Now, and this is, listen, Kate got in the car and put this out to, you know, me as a guy to see the take on this. What do you think of this? And Case is a guy, I guess, kind of too. Case, the producer's uh, in the cars. <laughs> okay. So, so, so what, what do you think of the situation besides maybe the obvious, you know, because he threw and he had a girlfriend, but late, at, you finding this out only after he took pictures and said, you were cute in these pictures. I got to get these pictures to you. Gets your number under that guise of sending you these pictures, which you had the great response of saying, maybe let's go get dinner next week. You know, it seems real. My initial take was, and I, I don't mean this in a demeaning way, as I said to Kate in the car, he's putting you on deck. He's not happy in his relationship. He's going to maybe look for a way out, and he wants to make sure he has you, an awesome girl, ready to go when he breaks up and ends that relationship. I will say, I think some guys put girls on deck, and maybe girls do it too, but in this scenario. Girls do it too. Okay, but we're talking about this scenario. Yes. I think guys do that even when they're happy sometimes, though. Yes. That's the thing. It's not like, oh, it's unhappy and it's on rocks. I think guys do the on deck scenario, and they're happy. (laughs) Correct, because also maybe it's an ego thing to make them feel good that they could get a number or or get, you know what I mean, that way, which is a really, you know, that's mean. That's not cool. You know what I mean? I've heard guys do well, that. Well, kind of bamboozled her. It wasn't like his game was so good. Like, you, she wanted a nice picture of herself. Yeah, but, she, was, she was not, Kate was not pursuing him, correct? No. You just You were just sitting there minding your own business and joining Incubus. Yeah, I've known this. I've known this guy for about a year, and it's always been group hangouts. Never thought anything until he purposely took cute, candid photos of me and made sure I gave him his, my number okay. in order to get the photos. So, and what's your take on this, Kenzie? That he's just a cheater? I just, I mean, I think, like, if my husband did that, if I found out he got a girl's oh number, God. took candid photos of her and said, look how cute you look. Before you continue, I would call the National Guard to protect your husband. I mean, he, <laughs> I would literally, ki- I would kill him. I know, we'd look in the pond. No, I swear to God, like, I... I believe you. That would piss me (laughs) off. Now, if it was... Okay, now he knows Kate really well. Kate was at our wedding and stuff. If he took pictures of her and sent them, and because they're already friends and stuff like that, Mm -hmm. I think I'd be less mad. You'd still be mad, though? Less mad. I mean, it would depend on what he said. If he was like, oh, my God, I saw you, like, you know, working, and I I got good pictures of you, like, okay, cool. But if it was like, you're hot, I'd be like, okay, we'll kill you now. So it'd be like Misery, the movie Misery. I'd break his ankles. (laughs) And then, yeah. and then he'd end up in the pond. <laughs> yeah, I would. So that's the lesser one that would happen to him if it was the other situation where it wasn't a friend of yours that he knew. I mean, I don't think there's a girl out there who's like, I mean, what, how do you think your wife would react, Brian? You're oh. married. Oh, my God. I, I forget about it. And I'd, I'd react the same way, by the way, if uh, that happened to her. 
right. In a situation. If she was doing that, I Yeah, mean. I'd like to clarify. My husband, every time I every time I leave the house, says, don't talk to guys. Every time I leave. <laughs> every time. <laughs> no matter what I'm doing, I'm going to be picking up a pizza for the family. Oh, don't God. talk to guys. I mean, I have to tip the guy. What do you want me to say? Uh, thank you? I can't say thank you? It's like, don't look at him. Don't yeah. talk to him. Don't. So my husband's... Equally insane. The pond by your house is ready for a body is what it we're is. looking at. It's just, it's a race to see who does it first, to be honest. Okay, what, what's your take on that situation? You just heard it laid out from from her mouth. Uh, 312-591-8300. What? Oh, and call up. We can actually put you on with Kate here and, and, and help her out. If you've been in that situation, something happened similar, you were that person, and maybe, maybe we're all just overreacting, and he just is still a good friend but wanted to show her a picture where she looked really cute. Is that possible? I, then he should have given her, he should have been like, oh, I saw I, I saw a good photogenic moment. Here you go. I think that you should word it different. Yeah, maybe he's just a bad communicator. That's what it is. He sounds like a good Kate, you think that's a possibility? I think that he should not have used the word cute because that opened the door to a different conversation I was having with him. Right. I agree. And the fact, if she would have asked, if she would have been like, can you please take a few like pictures of me? And he was like, oh, here's a cute one. Here you go. Now I'm done taking these. It would have been different. The yeah. fact that he's just taking pictures of her while like he's in the corner yeah. is a little odd. Yeah, a little stalkerish. I mean, and you sure, don't just do that. And also, you know, playing with people's emotions. That's what it really is at the end of the day. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, oh ch- ch- dating ch- is very hard. Yeah, and you just want to. I'm saying it again. She deserves a great guy. She does. Not this. Not not this situation. And honestly, she looked really cute in the picture. Like it wasn't a lie. I want to say something, but I can't because You're I'll be. You're not allowed to. I'm not. I'm not allowed to say anything. You shut the hell up, Brian. I'm, I'm shutting right up. Okay, three one two five nine one eighty three hundred. Call in, and what do you think of that situation? Assess it, and then give this information because I want to make sure I'm giving the right information to a good person. Uh, it's Brian and Kenzie on Q one hundred one. The Q one hundred one Morning Crew on Q one hundred one. The Q one hundred one Morning Crew on Q. 101. What if I told you at this time on Monday, Shinedown will be in studio with Brian and Kenzie on Q101? Well, I'm sure they've listened, Brian. Yeah, uh, then that's <laughs> a fact. They will be here. <laughs> they will be here in studio performing live. It's going to be a blast. We had him on the phone. We had Brent on the phone, uh, what, about a month ago over a really dumb argument me and Kenzie had about that song right there. What a guy. What an amazing guy. And he's, Arguably the nicest person I've ever talked to in my life. I mean, unbelievable. So Shinedown will be here Monday, right around this time in the 8 o'clock hour with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Also to remind you, coming up at 9, Aftershock Festival trip. And Ticket What's Thursday will continue at 920 with Pierce the Veil. Tickets for those sold-out Aragon shows. Now, we're back with Kate on the phone, Kenzie's friend Kate, who learned the situation of, uh, to just make it a short version, you heard it, a guy in her friend group, didn't ask for this, but he came up to her and goes, oh, I took a very a great picture of you that you look really cute in. Can I have your number so I can text it to you? Mm-hmm. Find out later he has a girlfriend. He also asked what she was doing for Lollapalooza and asked if they could meet up. Yeah, yeah. He just, meh, a little, little seedy, little in my seedy. opinion. A little seedy. So uh, Kate is back on with us, uh, who this happened to, and then Rebecca is checking in from Chicago. So Rebecca, ahoy, welcome in. Ahoy, Brian. How's it going? That's going wonderful. And Kate's here, too. So explain to Kate what your thoughts are on this guy. She can hear you. Hey, Kate. Yeah. Hi. So I agree with everything that you guys said. If this was my guy, there would be some serious consequences here. Um, but kind of first and foremost, the fact that he's had a girlfriend and he's been in the group circle for about a year And that wasn't disclosed until this point is kind of seedy all in itself, in my opinion. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of just seems like he's a player and doesn't want people to know he's even taken so that the option's been there this whole time. Mm. So, yeah, really, really shady, in my opinion. And honestly, someone who's kind of been through this before and been cheated on and all that, I wouldn't even want this guy as a friend if it was me. Preach. Well, I, and I'm yeah. going to back up Rebecca, too, on that, because I, I forgot to mention this. There's no posts of the girl on Instagram. Oh, that's not a red flag. So there's no, like, people really thought he was single because there's nothing on Instagram. Either. Also, a good point to bring up, too, because when you have that, if you're in a friend group, you usually know if they're dating somebody or what's mm-hmm. going on with them, you know? Yeah. 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 
And then there's then there's the other piece. I, I mean, I had this thought too. Maybe he just said it to make her jealous, which in itself is a red flag. Because either way, dude comes across as a liar here. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what I'm. Gonna, I like her. <laughs> You're my well, kind of girl. <laughs> well, you and Rebecca can throw your husband in the lake together. Yo, seriously, I may have to call you for some backup. <laughs> well, you know, I'd probably lose my mental health licensing over that. But oh. uh, that's why maybe why I'm reading into all this a little bit. But yeah, none of it sounds good either way. All right, Rebecca. Well, thank you for checking in and giving the advice. We appreciate you. And hope are you in a good relationship now, Rebecca? Are you in a good one? I am. Oh yeah, I check him all the time. So yeah. Check that ass. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Rebecca. Let's go to Joanna in Chicago. She's checking on this as well. Ahoy, uh, Joanna. Hi. Good morning. Um, yeah, I think he's just being grimy and shady. He just, he wants his cake and he wants to eat a little bit of pie on the side, too. And oh, I don't he wants know. more than cake. Hey, I blueberry, see. blueberry pie yeah, is good, know, though. Blueberry pie. I love I it. I think we need to do a mashup with sticky situations and, you know, have that collab we didn't think we we needed um, and get him on the phone i love that we should just call him well you we do should. have his you do have his number right kate i do but i oh, i want to be the bigger person oh. i don't even know how to word that one i think you worded it right yeah <laughs> call him yeah. i mean kate if he did it with you he will do it to you run away that's true. That's the thing is that you can't be like, well, he really liked me. Maybe it's because I'm the one for him. No, if he's being seedy, he'll be seedy to you. Yeah. You can't, you know. Yeah, we're getting a lot of texts of just the actual physical emoji red flag. <laughs> uh, Prudence is checking as well. Thanks for checking in, Joanna. Portage, uh, Prudence. Portage, Prudence. What's up? <laughs> hey, ahoy. Uh, yeah. Um, my, my thought is that they all should meet up. Like, go ahead, yeah, bring your girlfriend. It's going to be cool. And then um, at some point during the night, take her phone and say, oh, look at this cute photo that your boyfriend sent of me. Oh, oh, you're evil. Oh, no. (laughs) That's why people don't mess with Prudence. (laughs) The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. Okay, five minutes away from Queens of the Stone Age, chance to win an autographed drum head, but more importantly, a four-day festival pass, air, hotel, to the Aftershock Festival, if you love that heavy music. That's all coming up. In the meantime, it's Gil Curtis with your headlines. This is not headline news. A pill has been developed that some say might be the holy grail of cancer treatments. Drug companies are already fighting to be the first to overcharge for it. U.S. confidence in the military hit a 26-year low. The only officer who remains popular with the Americans is Colonel Sanders. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his wife Sophie are getting divorced. Now comes the big fight for custody of their Rush albums. And today is Big Forehead Day. Or as Tyra Banks and Christina Ricci know it, Thursday. This is not headline news. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.